hey gang, welcome to Salto, Uruguay. I'm having a lot of fun here. The food is terrific and the people are really wonderful. I've had a lot of fun meeting new people like my buddies, my buddies here. Where'd they go? Oh, hang on just a second. Hey guys, come on over here. Come on. I want you to meet my Kids on Mission amigos. Now, Stephen Kunkel and his brother, John Glenn, are Southern Baptist missionary kids who live here in Salto, Uruguay with their parents, Tim and Irisima. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't you two guys give my KOM friends in there and me a tour of Uruguay. What do you say? No problem. <laughs> hey, this is going to be fun. Okay, everybody, hang on. Here we go. The Kunkels are what I call a true F-O-M, you know, family on mission. Each of them has unique gifts and abilities which helps them in sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with the people of Uruguay. Now take Irasima for instance. She's used her personal knowledge of mental handicaps to help minister to individuals and families affected by these handicaps. Why does she have personal knowledge? We'll get to that in a minute. First, check out Irasima helping out at this school for handicapped children. Look who she showed up with and who's helping her out with these disabled Uruguayans. Yep, Stephen and John Glenn are helping their missionary mom in her ministry. They have their own special gift, the gift of music. Sharing with the disabled for Irasima, John Glenn and Stephen means being a friend to them, but it also means sharing the one who wants to be their best friend Jesus Christ. John Glenn and Stephen do this through their music. Now, these MKs don't just help out their mom. Here's John Glenn and his dad, Tim, in the small Uruguayan town of Fraibentos. Tim is teaching pastors and other Baptist leaders about the Bible and giving them practical ways that they can share Jesus in their local communities. And John Glenn is right by his side. Life in the outback of Uruguay is a bit like life was back in the days of the Old West. You know, cowboys, horses, log cabins. Out here, gauchos, or Uruguayan cowboys, still roam the range, driving cattle and sheep, working the land. I had fun talking to these gauchos. They're good people with rich family traditions. But these traditions rarely include a personal faith in Jesus, and that's why the Kunkels are here. Churches out here are tough to start, but the Kunkels don't let the word tough stand in their way. They drive across this rugged land in order to bring the gospel of Jesus to the lost of Uruguay, and Stephen and John Glenn are right there with them, singing, playing music, and bringing the hope of Christ to these lost frontiersmen. Now, don't get me wrong, kids. It's not all work out here in the Uruguayan outback. The Kunkels do have to eat after all. This is a traditional Uruguayan barbecue called an asado. I sure enjoyed these asados. I probably enjoyed them a little bit too much. Or I should say, I enjoyed most of what was served at these asados. The intestines I could have done without. Sharing a meal with country folks in Uruguay is all part of sharing in their culture, sharing in their lives, and ultimately, sharing the gospel. Oh yeah, another thing that might interest you about the Uruguayan outback are these Uruguayan ostriches. And boy, are they fast. Fantastic. Hey, didn't I tell you we're gonna meet some really great people? Isn't it amazing how God can use everyone in the job of reaching our world with the good news of his son, Jesus Christ? He's using kids on mission like John Glenn and Stephen to share his love. And now that you've seen what a great job John Glenn and Stephen are doing, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. See, John Glenn's little brother Stephen is no plain old ordinary kid on mission. He's really special. See, Stephen has a disability called autism. What is autism? Stick around. I think this will answer your question. Autism is a brain disorder that affects the specific development of some of the brain's normal function, specifically social interaction and communication skills. Okay, okay, <laughs> let me say that again, but in English this time. Autism, like in Stephen's case, affects how he talks and how he gets along with others. But Stephen is a regular old kid. 
He just has to work around his disability at times. For the most part, Stephen's just like you. He likes to swim. In fact, swimming is one of Stephen's favorite sports. Stephen often wonders what it would be like to be a dolphin, gliding through the water all day, swimming to the ocean depths. But swimming isn't all that fills his day. He has gymnastics class. He has schoolwork. Stephen is known for being a hard worker in school. He studies a lot and gets along great with his classmates. Somewhere in this busy schedule, Stephen practices with John Glenn so that they can share Christ through song. <laughs> yes, sir. These two are quite a team. We play at church and we also stay at home and play with each other. Sometimes I, I tease him a little bit, though I shouldn't, but he's really fun to be around with. Yeah. We play PlayStation with each other and watch TV. Mm -hmm. Well, but still we love... games? Yes, but still we love each other, right, John? That's right. Playing, working, and sharing Jesus is quite a full plate for Stephen. And remember that he does all of this in spite of his autism. Hey, you see, gang? The job of Kid on Mission is not left up to one type of person. Each of you plays a role in the unfinished task of loving the lost of our world and sharing your faith with them. It doesn't matter if you're short or if you're tall, doesn't matter what color you are, how much money you have, or what kind of house you live in. As we've learned today from following Stephen Kunkel around, it doesn't even matter if you have some sort of handicap or disability. Each of us is special in God's kingdom. We all play a part. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you play a part right away by praying for these people, the people of Uruguay. And of course, pray for the Kunkel family. And when you do that, just for me, throw in an extra little thank you to God for creating two special young kid on mission heroes, Stephen and his brother, John Glenn. Well, from Salto, Uruguay, this is Senor Christopher saying hasta luego or see you later. <laughs>